What's up, YouTubers? Kate Laufenberg Fishing here. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Just giving a little recap, I just finished up the Prairie Duchene BFL, and I wanted to take a chance to talk about it while it's still very fresh. Literally driving home right now. I got a big 10-year class reunion tonight, so I'm going to get ready for that. It's actually our 11th year since graduation, but COVID had other plans for our 10 year, so here we are. But anyway, let's get to the fishing talk. Today was an interesting day. Um, we had heavy rain, heavy thunderstorms in the forecast, which is not usually something I want to see on tournament day, especially I'm really scared of lightning. I hate it. Uh, it drives me nuts. I can't stand to be out there fishing, but the competition drives you to do things that you otherwise maybe wouldn't be comfortable with, and I don't like that. So luckily today I found myself in an area where it wasn't too bad. I, at no point during the day did I feel like we were being unsafe. The lightning was five miles north or 10 miles south at any given point. It was never really coming close where I felt like we needed to get out of there. So that was good, but we did have some really heavy rains and I felt like that definitely had an effect on the fishing. Um, I'd hope that if we could get on the fish early, they would bite a little bit in the morning and that just didn't really materialize. We had about two hours of fishing before it really started raining hard. And I just didn't capitalize on that time frame. I caught a 266 on one of my first casts and I thought it was gonna be a pretty good day. But then it just kind of fizzled out from there. I was, I was trying to frog fish a lot. Um, in practice, I found an area where there were some lily pads. I thought the fish would be in the lily pads, but the water had been dropping. So it actually pulled them out into this area where it was kind of sparse grass and there was isolated mats, isolated duckweed and um, coontail matted up on the surface. And I think it was those isolated mats were holding the fish while the water was falling. And with this rain situation, it just, the fish just spread out a lot more. Uh, they weren't concentrated in those mats like they had been in practice. And the ones that were in that area were just really lethargic. They're really finicky. Uh, you'd throw a frog and they'd come up and mouth it, but they weren't really taking it very good. I managed to put one of my fish that I weighed in on a fluke, throw it next to one of those clumps of grass. And another one I caught, I did catch that first one on the frog. Uh, and then after that, we just kind of dunked around that area. I hunkered into one area pretty much all day. Um, and I caught another fish on a buzz bait. That was, that was one of the good fish that I weighed in. But I, I did run into a small mouth throwing a Carolina rig on a little sandbar kind of stumbled into that deal. It was a sandbar within the area I was already fishing. They came up schooling, so I threw in there and caught a couple fish on a buzz bait, switched up to the Carolina rig and caught a 275 smallmouth that I did weigh in. So that was good. All in all, I finished 12th place, got a check. Um, still leading the points for the Angler of the Year race. I think I gained quite a bit of ground, actually. I have to look and see what the final results say, but pretty ecstatic to be going into the final tournament which is the super tournament coming up October 2nd here in La Crosse Wisconsin so that's my home water and that's my favorite time of year so it'll be my style of fishing a lot of power fishing big fish fat fish I absolutely love fishing in the fall so it's a good time to go and try to close this thing out it'll be my second angler of the year title if I can pull it off I'll be ecstatic to put that plaque on my wall um, but yeah, overall, it was a good day of fishing. Like I said, I think if it would have been sunny, um, things would have been a little better. They would have probably, it would have put those fish back in those isolated mats like I had them in practice. Uh, like I said, I, I should have adjusted better, but ultimately I think I did a pretty good job of going real slow and, you know, I put my Raptors down every time I'd move the boat about 15 yards and then put the Raptors back down and just pick everything apart with a fluke. Um, and throwing that frog just meticulously around those clumps. It just just really wasn't wasn't happening in the areas I was at today. I mean, I would have had almost 14 pounds for five fish, which would have done really good in a normal five fish tournament. But since this was a three fish limit, there was a number of guys that had nine pounds, you know, so they edged me on the three fish. But I would have been really curious to see how I would have stacked up in a five fish tournament because I had, I was doing the math, I had about 13 pounds, 14 ounces, which in years past in Prairie du Chien, that's usually a top five, or at least a top 10, minimum top 10. So 
definitely probably cost cost me a couple hundred dollars this week but all in all just happy to get out of here with a good paycheck and um like i said still leading the points and ready to get home and have a couple days of relaxation i'm not probably gonna fish for a few days uh obviously i love fishing but i do need these days where you just kind of go home and decompress and take everything out and clean your apartment and you know enjoy life a little bit it's good to get a break from the tournaments for a couple weeks and i'll be back after it um for the next bites 95 team trail tournament hopefully hopefully we can keep our points lead going over there too so thanks for tuning in i'll have another update for you shortly hope you guys have a good weekend take care